It's the magic of math here, and today we're going to be talking about the sides of a right triangle. We have right triangle, and if we're given two sides, then we can use the Pythagorean theorem to identify a missing side. We could also say that any two sides are one leg and the hypotenuse and find the other leg, all using the Pythagorean theorem. So here we go. Here's our question today. We're told that one side of a right triangle has a length of 5 centimeters. Another side of the triangle has a length of 10 centimeters. We are asked which of the following could represent the length in centimeters of the third side of the triangle, and we're going to select the two correct answers. So we have five answer choices to pick from, and we're picking two. Here's where you pause the video, you do your best work, and then come back and hit play to see mine. Welcome back. We're going to find the two correct answers from these five answer choices. We are given the information that we have a right triangle. So a right triangle has one 90 degree angle identified by this box. They meet perpendicularly, forms a 90 degree angle. So we know that we have one side that's five centimeters. So I'm going to take the shorter side of my drawn triangle and label it five. We're told that the other side or another side of the triangle has a length of 10 centimeters, so 5 and 10. If we use the idea of Pythagorean theorem that applies to any right triangle, the sum of the squares of the legs, a squared plus b squared, the legs are the sides that form the right angle, are equal to the square of the longest side, the hypotenuse. So we're going to label this c. So if we assume that the lengths of the two sides given to us are the legs that form the 90 degree angle, then we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the third side, C. So let's go ahead and put the legs in A, 5 squared plus B squared, 10 squared, is equal to our unknown side, the hypotenuse C squared. 5 squared is 25, 10 squared is 100. When we add that together, the sum is 125 equal to C squared. To solve for C, that missing third side, we're going to find the square root of each side of this equation. So C, the hypotenuse, the missing side in this triangle, is the square root of 125. We can see that that is answer choice C. Now another possible outcome using this right triangle, let's bring on another right triangle, is that we could have a smallest side, 5, one of the legs, but the 10 could be the hypotenuse. 5 could not be the hypotenuse because the hypotenuse is the longest side of a right triangle. So now we're missing one of the legs, which we could label A or B. So A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. So A squared plus 5 squared equal to 10 squared. 5 squared is 25, 10 squared is 100. To solve for a squared, I'm going to subtract 25 from each side, so a squared equals 75. To solve for a, the missing third side, we're going to do the square root of each side. So a is equal to the square root of 75, which is answer choice b, and we have our two correct answers. So when you're given two sides of a right triangle, you could have the two legs, or you might have one leg and the hypotenuse. So there you have it. That is how we use the sides of a right triangle to find the missing third side using the Pythagorean theorem. Remember the legs A and B, hypotenuse is C, opposite the right angle. Thanks for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you'll come back soon, subscribe, and have a great day.